<clears throat> all right so this is gonna be another all hammers run where we get lots of hammers offered however an added stipulation is that we are now able to see hammers that are not normally compatible together. So we're gonna take out Zag Bow here for the crit chance and just kind of see how it goes. Kind of a boring aspect, but maybe this will make it kind of exciting. We'll do 40 heat. So what's a good example of incompatible hammers? You can't normally get twin shot and triple shot in one run. Um, so I guess I don't honestly know what'll happen. I hope it doesn't like crash the game or anything. It might just flat out break the attack in some weird way. I don't know. I have no idea. But we will get more hammers offered here, too. Triple shot to start! Let's go, baby. Might be a little weak here at first. Oh, crap. Kind of made a mistake. I should have swapped to... Uh, faded authority. We might be okay. Might. You think we'll be okay? I hope so. We just need hammers. Yeah, because we could get, like, flurry shot. Yeah, you can't normally get flurry shot and perfect shot. So what happens if I do get them? Ooh, here we go. Yeah, I mean, I could reset, but I'll allow myself to get punished for it. Point blank is good. Oh, twin shot got crossed off. Dang. We'll take point blank. So we got two really good hammers to start. Oh my god, a third hammer already. Nice. So this one's just good already. I just wanted to see what would happen. Oh, ho, ho. well, that was fast. What do you think? Do. It don't look right, chat. <laughs> Why does it look like that? What? Is it? Uh, did it just break triple? It may have simply broken triple shot. I can't... Why does it have two offshoots randomly? Keep a sharp eye. Instead of three. Yeah, we'll accept the attack. The Even if it's a bit weak. We do have a tight deadline on. Well, this is interesting. I don't know if it's working. Oh, look, a hammer. Lovely. <laughs> All right, we need point blank. We need no, not point blank. We need we need perfect. Oh no, I'm gonna have to. What about explosive plus flurry? How's that gonna work? All right, we'll go flurry shot first. <laughs> it's two pronged for some reason. Chain shot. Let's go sneak. I hope it didn't break. Like I can't totally tell. Kind of looks like we're dealing a lot of damage, though. Let's get Boldy for another hammer. Never punished. Oh no, is Sniper Shot gonna break something? Well, we gotta take it anyway. Because I ha you can't normally get point blank. And stuff. I have Underworld Customs on, don't I? <laughs> I need another boon to sell. Write that down. Explosive flurry sounds busted. Honestly, it sounds good. With everything else we got. God's grant me strength. No, where are the boons though? Chamber ten. Ah. Well, it's a good thing we did forty heat, huh? Okay.
All right, show me a boon. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we just need to take something to sell here. Oh yeah, I guess I wouldn't really want Artie's dash all that much. It, it still works with Flurry Fire, but it's just not quite as reliable, I guess. Hmm. Point Blank and Sniper should work together. Yeah, I don't see any problems yet. Try to find some more boons to buy, maybe? Not sure. Hmm. It's not a whole lot I want. Oh, we almost got splitting headache, interestingly. Sure. We'll be careful. Just because we don't get we might not get as many boons this run. So we have like four hammers already. I believe. Matt Hobbs, welcome aboard. Thank you so much for the prime. Diddle doo doo, diddle doo, diddle doo doo. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. We did fine. Timer's a little tight. Damage is up there, though. We are selling Drunko Dasho for now. I will take a Chaos Gate. And now, I think we just go Queen Purse. I think. All right, Baldur's Gate 3 is off the list for Game of the Year. Who wins? It's, I think for most people, it's either going to be Tears of the Kingdom. Wait, what? This is what happens in a Chaos Gate? Oh. Okay. Guess I'll roll for the dash. I didn't think of that. All right. <laughs> Welcome, Matt. Thank you. Still Baldur's Gate three. And you're not listening. Alan Wake two is getting so much love. I I haven't played. I never played the first one. I don't really know anything about the, either of those games. I never really knew that much about it. You think uh, Alan Wake 2 will win like the critic's choice? What's a game that the critics loved? Woo! Here's explosive. But the players hated. It seems to work, chat. It seems to work. Will it pierce enemies still? It shouldn't. I still need perfect shot. And then we can have like chain shot and everything. Oh. Woo! -hoo -hoo. There's chain shot. <laughs> You're in the shop still. Heard nobody talk about Alan Wake 2, so it's weird to see it everywhere. That's a little bit how I feel about it. It's getting a lot of love, and I'm kind of pulling the old who. You don't want splitting headache. Maybe I should have rolled for Hunter's Mark, probably. Yeah, probably. I'll take that. It just came out, critics are gush gushing. Spider-Man 2 came out even more recently, right? Oh, whoops, what am I doing? Spider-Man 2 was high up there. It must be tough. Oh, Alan Wake came out after Spider-Man? Really? Oh, damn. So, wait, what happens if a game comes out after the Game Awards announcement? They just... that it, Does it go to next year at that point? Like, if something comes out, like, in a week. 
they hold it over till next year. Yeah, I don't know if Chain's doing anything. Wouldn't it make more sense to hold the game awards in like January then? I guess it's not a big deal. But I'm wondering like, were there any games that came out like December of last year that have gotten kind of forgotten? You know what I mean? It almost feels like slightly unfair, but I guess it would also be unfair for games from like January or something otherwise. First Hermes. Anything better? Ooh. That was certainly a choice. Dredge? Dredge might win best indie. It's a possibility at least. We're selling the special, hopefully. Marketing employee for before the holidays. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Getting a hammer from this. That makes sense. I never tried dredge, but people spoke quite highly of it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I can't tell if, like, triple shot is doing anything anymore. I mean, we deal a lot of damage. Or did Twin Shot... Like, is that second... Shot even working? I think it is. I think it is. Oh, right! Armored Core wasn't even... Any wasn't anywhere to be seen, right? You're happy to see Armored Core not win. FromSoft bias in the game rewards is irritating. Is there FromSoft bias? Yes, Charge Volley. I don't know. Doesn't matter there, really. Looks weird. It's in art direction. Starfield only got into, like, best RPG category, where it's going to very quickly lose to um, Baldur's Gate 3, right? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of good games this year. It's just, it's almost just unfortunate for some of them that they're not going to be in the running for so many different categories, right? It's just been a really, really good year. I guess I don't want Chaos Gates. Yeah, it's been a good year. Even even for like the indie scene, I feel like it's been a good year. I've been eating good this year. And it's on and we still got like a couple of great games that came out today. Astral Ascent, Backpack Hero. Oh Elysium. War Hammers! I think we're missing Perfect Shot. And a bunch of the special hammers. I don't know if we're missing anything else. I don't think there's anything that Zagbo can't get as an aspect. The spell could use a little fine tuning. Doesn't matter. Thanks, Daedalus. Emma! What wins game of the decade? What wins game of the decade? You, you think it's Baldur's Gate 3? 2013 to now, to the end of 2023. Loon 6? You think it's a generational game? Wow. Perfect shot got crossed off. Look at that volley. You know what? I'll skip the shot for this. Breath of the Wild for you was a big game, right? It was a big game. It's not to say that Tears of the Kingdom didn't do it better, but it's just kind of, it was just such a big leap for Nintendo. I don't know. I'd have to go back and like look at the top games for each year because 10 years is a long time. Skyrim was 20, 2011. Rip Skyrim then, I guess, right? Slay the Spire? It's transformative for me. But I don't know if I would say for the vast majority of people still. You know what the sad truth is, chat? I think, well, when did Minecraft come out? 
Best game or biggest game? I don't know. Did When did Minecraft come out? Ow, Jesus. 2010? Yeah, it might have been too long ago. Dude. 2011. Okay, Minecraft's not there. But Fortnite isn't that old. I don't know. I don't think Fortnite was transformative, though. It took a... It took a... Pre-established subgenre and just kind of did it better. GTA 5. When did GTA 5 even come out? There is GTA 5. Better? Ah, oh, whatever. I don't know. I never even played that. I assume better. Or maybe they just made it free to play, which brought him in. Cookie clicker. Cookie clicker? I bet I feel like Cookie Clicker is more than 10 years old. I'm trying to think what else was there. I'm trying to think of the big titles and to see how I feel about them. Chronos! Uh-uh. Welcome back. Thank you for those three months. Holy shit, die. Things have started to go sour, chat. God of War. We have all the hammers, as far as I can tell. Brave Shadow Legends. God of War? Not for me personally, I think. I feel like not a lot of people would agree with this, but I feel like Mario Maker, the first one in particular, of course, was such a, even if it wasn't the biggest game, I'm sure it was big, obviously, right? But it felt like such a massive leap for the entire Mario franchise. Not yet. I'm dying out here. Ooh, thank God. Should have checked this door first, probably. I don't even know if Patty can appear, actually, in this run. Kinda need booze. Huge for content creation. That's definitely true, but even outside of that, like... I, I felt like it was just... Big deal for... It, it created such a large community and everything around it. The tools. Witcher 3? Witcher 3 was definitely big. Probably wouldn't be my choice. Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors might be... So, wouldn't be my choice for, like, in terms of, I don't know, I guess, quality or whatever. But in terms of, like, it... It wasn't the first game to do it. But it did take something and practically spawned a whole subgenre out of it, right? But is it that big of a... Is it that big of a subgenre... Yeah. I'll roll for a battle rage. Yeah. Big enough to burn me out in a year. It's it's not a game that's meant to be played forever and ever though. I think it, it's just not. It's just, I mean no game is. It, it, in theory, but there, there's a very just a select amount of content to it. It's not like a small amount of content, but once you're done, you're done, I feel. Like, I feel like, I mean, this game's too old, but Portal 1 was kind of a big game for whatever decade it belongs in. Last of Us? I don't know anything about The Last of Us, to be honest. Do 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 In the name of Hades. Anyone said Bloodborne? 
I don't think I would say Bloodborne. Elden Ring, though. Elden Ring has a slight case to it. What's going to age better, let's say, 10 years from now? Elden Ring or Breath of the Wild? Uh -uh. Oh, there's no hogwash and way. You don't think Elden Ring is transformative? <sighs> it's so hard to say. I guess we got to determine what. It, I mean, I use the word transformative. That's true. But I guess we got to determine what our criteria are here. Holy God, dude. One. Bonk, bonk. Got him. Woo! Oh! Oh! Of the 2000s. Of the 2000s. Does anything beat out World of Warcraft? Because World of Warcraft, I'm going to say, came out in 2004-ish. Okay, we'll take that. Hmm... It's a tough call. In terms of money. How do we measure? How do we measure a chat? How do we measure like game of the decade? The biggest cultural impact of the decade? Would we is that how we want to measure it? What had the biggest cultural impact, perhaps? My keepsakes. So you got the 2000s, the 2010s, and we're in the middle of the 2020s. Deus Ex? I don't know anything about Deus Ex, to be honest. I, I feel like I didn't hear about it until recently. 2011 to 2020 would have to be Minecraft? I think so, too. Skyrim? I feel like Minecraft beat Skyrim, but Skyrim w was definitely a contender. I feel, like, well, I feel like World of Warcraft beats the 2000s. You think Call of Duty? The first Call of Duty probably came out in the 90s, but I'm not sure, actually. It's I would call it a contender, maybe. Half-Life 2? I don't think it beats World of Warcraft. Without EverQuest, you don't have WoW. But when did, when did EverQuest come out, though? I guess I've ditched the word transformative, and I've moved on to biggest cultural impact. I feel like I might die here. Oh, I actually wanted to get rid of the attack speed. Give myself a jump scare. To the <sighs> yeah, it's hard to know. Like, some of these games, like, when the launch was, like, Minecraft is a bit vague. Portal and the cake is a lie. Yeah. Portal was big. That's a lot of coin. It's tough. EverQuest was 99, so you guess it doesn't count. Rip EverQuest, I guess. I'll do this in case we get offered another Death Defiance, I suppose. Can't do that. I'm trying to think, like, what was the the biggest, like... Like, we kind of tend to, to, to leap from one big gaming culture to another based on like one or two games right so you had you know i know there's obviously many before this but like you had world of warcraft and then after that it might have been something like portal or skyrim minecraft was slowly ramping up and i feel like minecraft took over at some point fortnite fortnite might have taken the reins after that there's there might have been some other segues in the middle of this um like i feel like the portal half-life 2 team fortress 2 was all kind of part of like one lump, partially because of the orange box, maybe. Uh, the Wii, just straight up the Wii, was probably kind of a moment of its own, right? Wii came out in 2006 or 7, I think. And that was huge. That was The Wii was massive, at least in the United States, right? It was, an ab it was absolutely enormous. League of Legends... Definitely would would have had to have had its own moment too. Agreed, hundred percent. Mm. 
Ooh. Counter strike? What do you think, chat? Did Counter Strike take the reins from something else at one point? Hmm. Christmas 2006 was the Wii. Junior in college. I just graduated the high school. I remember because I stayed outside of Target to get one. That hammer don't be doing nothing anymore. Smash Bros? It was obviously a big game. The thing is, like, Melee, which was the biggest Smash Bros, right? A lot of the popularity came afterwards. I don't know if Smash Bros would have said... I don't know if Smash Bros uh, counts as an era, essentially, personally. Rocket League? I think Rocket League's close, but I feel like I personally wouldn't count it. There's probably some bias just based around what games I think, too. Like, what games uh, were more important to me when I was younger or just I know more about. War Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne. What year did that come out? I'm going to say 99, maybe even 98. Why did I buy that? Hammer is empty. You know, it was a big game from the 90s. I'm not even certain what year it is, but I feel like it was massive. And it hit so many people, including like non gamers Mist. Huge. Everyone's grandma and uncle had Mist, right? And I was so confused as a kid about Mist. Everyone had a copy of Mist, I swear to God. Ah, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Oh, man. It's tough to... Frozen Throne was 2003? Holy shit. I think it was big for RTS, and it kind of led the way for the MOBA genre, right? But I don't know if I would personally call it a whole era for myself. Hunter's Mark is decent. I feel like I probably die here, though, chat. Goldeneye or Half-Life? Ooh, what game was bigger, chat? Golden Eye or Half Life? I'm gonna go Half Life just because the N64 wasn't big, as big as the other consoles. Halo. We didn't really bring up Halo. Halo was big. Hmm. Huh. Half-Life has an impact because of people's hope for Half-Life 3. I feel like Portal was more impactful than the Half-Life series, personally, in terms of cultural. I don't, th there's some games, like, I don't know where you would say it actually stepped in. Like, Call of Duty. Like, when, when did it actually... When did Call of Duty actually have an impact? I think there was a time, but I just don't know when it was. I don't know which game out of the, the trillion that there are, right? Did it. Sneak. You need to try. You need to relax, my dude. <laughs> Feels like I've had that acorn up forever. You need to wait until, yeah. You gotta wait until he does a double spin for me. How did you get me with that?
<sighs> ah, I'm so dead. Oh my God, I'm so dead. Can I give you the short description of the game? There's a Wikipedia page for it. <laughs> Seems like an odd place to come ask for a synopsis of the game. <laughs> 40 heat all hammers with the bow sadly not as good as i would have hopped hopped hoped or something like that Whew, it was tough that stupid hydra at least that was really tough that was very challenging that was actually really rough that's 40 heat i guess for you you know what i mean <laughs> 